Hi, my name is Augie Jimenez. I am an applications engineer with Go Engineer, and today we'll be discussing misaligned mates. Misaligned mates use a special type of concentric mate to account for any misalignment in our models. As we all know, we don't always have perfectly concentric holes. Uh, let's say, for example, if we were to buy a part from an outside vendor, it shows up, we try to assemble it, and the holes just don't really align with the part that we manufactured in our facility. Well, the misaligned mate is a perfect option for us to use in this situation to continue on with our assembly model and continue on with our design. Let's take this assembly for example. In this assembly we have a housing and we have this lid. Between the two we already have a concentric mate here, but we want to go ahead and add another concentric mate between these two holes here. So we'll select the two, hit concentric, and as you can see, SolidWorks automatically detects that we have a misalignment. So it provides us with the misalignment mate option. If we select it, it places our part in the position that we want. And here we have a drop down with a couple of options, which I'll go over in the property manager. So let me go ahead and select OK. I'll go to a top view so that we can see our misalignment here and our concentric on this side. Taking a look at our feature design tree, we notice that we have our usual mates folder. If we expand this, we see this misaligned mate here, which actually groups and holds our concentric mates here. If we edit one of these in our properties manager, we notice that they are grouped. They're working together in this results box. Here we have our drop down with our options. By default, it was set to align linked mate, meaning it kept the concentric mate here and it added a misaligned mate here. If we were to select align this mate, what it will do is, if you can tell, it shifted the plate over. Now these two holes are concentric and these are misaligned. We can also select symmetric, which causes them to be uh, symmetrically misaligned. And in our results folder, we actually have a deviation value. Right now, they are both evenly um, misaligned by the same value. If we were to go back to align, uh, align linked mate, our results update, and we have a deviation on this side here of 0.388 millimeters. Let's go back and set it to symmetric, and we'll say OK. Now I'll place this in an isometric view, and I'll try to move it around. And as you can see, the lid is fully constrained, and we can continue on with our design and our assembly file here. This has been Augie Jimenez with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial useful. If you would like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website.